What's up everybody? Welcome back to Malabara Toy where safety is number one priority. And today I'm going to film a slow motion video with water balloon versus a tennis rocket. Let's see what it looks like. It's not really a tennis rocket, what is it called? Bump it, bump it on rocket, bumping ton rocket, not really sure how to pronounce that in English. Alright, there goes nothing, 25,000 frames per second. Not gonna hit the camera. Okay, let's go. Now let's see it in slow motion. Okay guys, the slow motion was actually amazing. So let's do a couple more shots with different balloons, maybe different sizes, and film it at different speeds in slow motion. This is so cool. Let's check it out. Last slow motion video was amazing, but I messed it up. I hit it to the side half of the balloon, so it wasn't perfect. So I'm gonna try to achieve the perfect hit in the middle, just to see how it works. All right, let's go. Woo! That one actually popped. That was awesome. That's got to be a perfect shot. Let's see it in slow motion. Actually guys, never mind, it was a fail again. Because it burst, I didn't feel such an impact on my rocket. I thought I hit it right dead center. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little bit of practice with the rocks. The rocks are a little smaller, they're a little bit easier. But as you can see, I'm hitting it pretty much every time. Oops, I broke the rocket. But anyways, I'm gonna keep practicing, I have a second one. Okay, take three. Everything I'm gonna film at 25,000 FPS. Oh! I can't believe it. I just broke the full rocket. Okay, guys, that was complete disaster. I had to go in the bushes, try to retrieve my broken bumping ton rocket. And it's pretty funny, so maybe I'll have better luck with the, the shorter, I don't know, handle. Feels good on us, kind of spins, but whatever. I got also smaller balloon this time, hopefully I'm not going to fail. I know, was this time good? Let's find out. This time I hit it dead center. Watching this in slow motion, I cannot believe it that it actually did not pop. So many little balloons kind of have a curve in each little cell on the initial impact. That was amazing, honestly. This is why I love the slow motion camera and slow motion videos, because honestly, you never know what to expect. Every time you film some kind of experiment, you just never know. It's so mesmerizing and amazing. So please give this video a thumbs up. And you know what? To spice it up, maybe I'll make three small water balloons, throw them up and hit all three at the same time. I don't know if I can do it, but hopefully I'll hit at least two in a row. So let's see. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be complete disaster because no way I'm gonna hit it three at the same time. Let's try though. Okay, I feel comfortable. This is my stand, feels good. Because I want to hit it pretty hard too. Ah, I only hit one. Good thing they didn't broke off because I can do it again. 
Okay, I got a bunch of fails, but I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna start doing this right here. One rocket, make it lower. Three balloons at the same time, see what happens at 10,000 frames per second this time, because it's cloudy and dark. Don't want the video to be so dark. I think I got at least a couple of them. Let's see it in slow motion. Well guys, that's pretty much it. I think I achieved what I wanted. It looks amazing. I can't believe that it's actually happening. It's balloon goes into every little square of the rocket or like bumping down the rocket and it does not pop most of the time. So beautiful. Let me know in comments below. What do you think about this video? Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe for more epic videos like this and I'll see you next time.